All right. All right, so we're gonna show you how to utilize Zoom, at least some basic login features so that you can join in in uh, fellowship time and some Bible study and some other things we're gonna have coming up. So um, uh, Sue is probably the, the biggest expert of the three of us on how to do this because she's taught some, quite a few classes at Sue St. Cloud State at this. So uh, Sue and Larry are gonna help out with this. So Sue, you wanna kind of walk us through this and I'm gonna click through some stuff as you do it. Okay, well, basically, to get started, uh, you need to click on the Zoom link that will let you into the meeting. So Jeff will be sending uh, a link to us, and it's, it's basically a set of numbers that you click on, and um, it, will, it will get you into a screen that uh, wants you to click on an, the audio, and also uh, the visual. And so it'll ask you if you want the audio and the visual on, and you do, because that allows us to see your face, and also it allows us to hear you. And then after that, uh, Jeff will see that you're waiting at the door to come in, and he will let you into the meeting, and you will basically see Jeff's face, uh, or a picture of Jeff, and that means that he's there and um, you're in the meeting. So it's as easy as clicking a few, uh, the link to get in, and then yes to audio, yes to visual. Yeah, so real quick, I just want a, a couple of things. If you haven't used Zoom before, you don't need to have an account, but it does, it, it's, it's free, basic accounts are free. Uh, I'd encourage you to sign up for one. Um, you don't technically have to download Zoom for your computer, but it does actually make it a lot better, a lot smoother. And when you go to log into a meeting, um, it'll give you a prompt that says it's like open Zoom meetings. Click on that if you've downloaded that. Otherwise, it does have a link where it says um, click here to download Zoom or, you know, otherwise uh, just follow the prompt. It's pretty straightforward. If you don't have a, a laptop that you want to use your smartphone, you have to download the app from the app store but that's also free and again you can sign up for a free account and um let's i'm going to show you guys i'm sharing my screen now which is something cool you can do with zoom you don't have to worry about that when you're uh you're meeting with us but this is the 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 email from last week's um time and this right here this kind of blue underlying thing this is the link that sue was talking about this is the the link you click on to get into the zoom meeting and if i do that it's going to open this up and this is your login screen. Now I've downloaded Zoom, so it says open Zoom meetings. If I just click on that and it's gonna open up the meeting. Um, it's gonna open up our, my, Zoom, uh, my Zoom thing, which is right down here, you see it in the bottom. Can you guys see my mouse moving around? Jeff, can you share your screen? Oh, I don't have my screen share. It says stop sharing on my side. Hmm. Oh, um, okay, your mm -hmm. screen share. The PowerPoint is up, but not the Zoom portion. Oh, okay, hold on a second here. Oh, you got to do that individually. Okay, hold on a second here. Okay. Sorry, see it? Everybody's we're still we're still learning here. Okay, so and it didn't and it didn't blow up or anything. So yeah, it didn't blow up. So <laughs> if we if we don't do it right, it's okay. That's great. Okay, so let me do this again. I'm going to share screen. Oh, I see. I have to pick the thing I'm sharing each time. All right, I got it. I'm still getting used to this too. All right, so now you guys see the email, right? Mm -hmm. All there right. So this is the email from last Sunday. Um, right down here, this blue underlined thing, this is what I'm talking about. This is the link. When I click on that link, are you guys seeing the Zoom thing pop up mm -hmm. now? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the prompt it's going to show you. And if you've downloaded Zoom already, you click on the prompt that says open Zoom meetings. If you haven't, it says down, down here, download and run Zoom. So that's all you got to do. I'd encourage you, if you're coming in to like the Bible study and you want to be there on time, do this before we start. Don't like wait until like, hey, it's seven o'clock. I should really log in now. If it's the first time. Make sure that you do this a couple minutes ahead of time so um, you have all that taken care of. And then when you click on this, it opens up Zoom meetings and it says, I'm already in a meeting. So they're going to ask if I want to go to the other meeting. So I'm going to say no to that. But um, it's going to open up my Zoom account. And then and then let's go back over that to, to Zoom right now here. And um, here we go. So let's, and then when we log in, the two things you have to do, like um, Sue, you said you have to share the video or like you have to say, I want to enable my video, correct? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Enable video, enable audio. Okay. So look at this. I can share my own Zoom screen, can't I? Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, in the in the bottom. Oh, maybe I can. No. So in the bottom corner there, the bottom left corner is the mute button. That's for your audio. It looks like a microphone. Um, you got to mute it, or you got to unmute it, so then everybody can hear you. And then there's the there's next to that's the video button. So Sue, can you um, mute your video or your audio for us real quick? Sure. Okay. So I just click. So now, obviously you can't hear. Her. You can see in the bottom left where it says Sue Herm. It's got um like the little uh, red symbol with the uh, no symbol on it. So she's muted. And if she hits the space bar, it will unmute her. Or you can click on the button again. It'll unmute her, and she can come in. Yeah. Um, and then. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're in the middle of a meeting and you need to mute yourself, you're talking to your, your kids running around or somebody off screen and you want to mute yourself, um, do that. And then, um, Larry, can you show us how to like kill your, your, uh, your video feed? So if you want to shut the video off for a second, Larry, do you know how to do that? There we go. And it'll just pop up your name. So also when you log in, put in your name because if your name isn't there, um, and you come to pop in, you come to join, and like the host sees somebody's joining, and we don't know who it is, we might not accept that because if it's open to anybody, and it's somebody, you, um, you know, Sue, if you like, you said before, you guys had some issues at school with people dropping into meetings that weren't a part of the group. Um, so we want to just make sure that put your name in there so we know who's who, and that's and that's fine. Um, maybe even capitalize your name. I mean, unless you're Larry, you don't have to do that. No. <laughs> um, and then the only other thing that I wanted to point out is in the top right corner, um, at least if you're using the computer version, it says speaker view um, or, or gallery view, and you can toggle between those. Um, gallery view will show you everybody. Like, like I see myself and Sue and Larry right now. Speaker view is whoever is talking, it will switch between them. So if I stop talking and, and like, I start talking. It pops over to Sue for me. So whatever view you're more comfortable with, but if you want to see everybody, click to that gallery view. You'll have like tiles, and I'm sure you, if you've seen it, even videos of other people's Zoom stuff, you'll see that tile view. That kind of that is very helpful. So um, we're going to set out an, an invitation to people later on this week. Um, that'll come from I'm going to host it this week. Um, and then we have uh, next uh, next Wednesday night, the 20th. We're also going to have um, so we have a fellowship time Sunday at 10:30. And then Wednesday at 7 p.m., we're going to have a Bible study where we're going to start going through Ephesians together. Um, there's really not a limit on how many people we can have in these. Um, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. you don't, if you have 150 people, that's, it gets a little overwhelming, but we, um, mm -hmm. um, the host can kind of control some of that stuff too, so we can make it mm -hmm. uh, very usable. So, Sue, is there anything else that we need to add to this? Well, basically, when the meeting is over um, on the little bar uh, at the bottom, uh, you can either hit leave meeting or there will be, um, or Jeff as the host can end the meeting. Mm -hmm. But um, for some reason, if you can't stay any longer, you just leave the meeting. Um, there is a, a chat feature too uh, on the bar on the bottom. If you hit chat, uh, you can actually type a message to the group um, either privately or or to everyone as well. And once we get into class, we can review that. But it's kind of neat if you have a question. Let's say Jeff starts the Bible study and you have a question about something, instead of interrupting him, you can put a note in the chat and then he'll see that. And when he has a break, he'll talk about it. Yeah, or, or even in the fellowship time, if you've got a bunch mm -hmm. of people and you're like, hey, I wanted to ask Larry a quick question, but you know, other people are talking or whatever, you can mm -hmm. shoot him just a little chat and that's right in the bottom, it says chat. Chat. Um, you can do that. And actually, um, Sue, you wanna just shoot me a chat so, um, I don't know, okay. like so, yep. like because I'm recording this, so you're seeing what we're seeing, so. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. There, so I'll send this to yep. everyone, but if I'm going to just, send Jeff, the here. teacher one, I click on the little arrow next to the everyone. There's a little um, carrot that looks like this. You click on that and I see Jeff's name so I can, I can click on that and privately message him. 
say, you know, I have to leave class early. And then I can send that to Jeff and just Jeff gets it, but not the whole class. And then you can close it down at, at the top um, if there's a close or a pop out feature too. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. we can go through some of that when we're actually having meetings, but this is just kind of a basic tutorial yeah, on I'll how to log in. We'll send an email out for both of those. Um, I sent an invitation out already for the Bible study. Um, later, uh, later on today, today's Thursday, um, uh, we'll send out an invitation for the fellowship time, which is 10:30 on Sunday morning, um, and uh, we're that'll probably be about you know maybe about an hour long or so on a time of prayer in that as well. So we want people to be able to utilize this technology um, for for you know getting together for prayer time, for Bible study, for fellowship time while we can't meet in person. Um, we want to utilize this and even even when we can meet in person this is a great opportunity for um, I'm going to be doing a class later this summer um, uh, starting in June I'm going to be doing a class on how to read through the Bible um, and understand it um, and I'm going to actually offer that on zoom so we can record those sessions and people that aren't going to be a part of that be able to like be a part of that can still come in later on and, and take advantage of that so we're going to do it in this format because it's, it's a great technology we can mm -hmm. utilize it so Mm -hmm. So, Larry, you got anything to add? Um, every now and then, if you if you're on your screen and you're you're ta you're talking about these little tools like the record or the share screen or the chat, it might be gone. So just wiggle your cursor and then it pops back up. Yeah, I know I experience that quite a bit sometimes when I'm just kind of being idle. Uh, that stuff doesn't show up. It's like, where is it at? You just gotta wiggle that wiggle your cursor and you'll find it. So, yeah. All right, I think. I think that's it. Sue, do you have anything else? I don't think so. I think that's enough to get everybody started. So. All right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this will be on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, uh, Larry and Sue, thank you guys for helping me out. And I'm mm -hmm. gonna hit stop now, and uh, we will uh, we will hopefully see a bunch of you on Sunday. Okay. Bye. All right.